Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencasts Online tip video. Well, despite there being a ton of note taking apps out there, I've found that if I want to make a quick note for later retrieval or capture a piece of information, I invariably end up creating it in Apple Notes. I do use drafts if it's anything more than a sentence and I use DevonThink Pro 3 for long term archival information, but for anything else, Apple Notes is my go to app. Available on all Apple platforms, Notes has been gradually improved over the years. Now that's not to say there's no room for improvement, but I do think it's an application that will be continued to be developed over time. So this tip video is a rundown of some of the things that I've found useful using Apple Notes. Now although Notes is available for both Mac OS and iOS and iPad OS, I'm going to focus mainly on the Mac version in this particular screencast, although obviously um, things do get synced between the various uh, platforms. So any changes I make in my Mac uh, copy of Notes will be reflected across in all the other copies on my other devices. So the first thing I'm going to take a look at is organization. Now this is just my demo screencast online account on my iMac Pro. And one of the first things you need to do with notes is to get them organized. And this is usually done by the use of folders. So I can go ahead and create a new folder down here. We'll give it a name. Hit return and we've now got a brand new folder. I can go back up to my usual notes. And I know that in here I've got a couple of uh, papers. This one, this one and this one. I can just drag them across to my astrophysics folder and they are now separated out. Uh, there is another one as well, I think, if I go down here. Now let's say this one is astrophysics related, but I want to put a second copy into my astrophysics folder. I can just drag this across and then hold down the Alt or Option key and then release. So you see here, this one is in my notes folder. This one is in my astrophysics folder. Now the reason I can see both at the same time is because I'm currently looking at all of my iCloud notes. If I go to this one, you'll see down at the bottom, we will just see the one this one. And if I go to here, you'll see uh, the second one here. Now you can create subfolders as well. In fact, I would recommend creating subfolders. So if I just click on the new folder again, we'll call this one papers. Then I can just drag this up onto my astrophysics folder and release. And that's now a nested folder. I can use this little disclosure triangle to open and close to get access to this. If I want to drag something into there, I can just drag it across and release. Now, one thing to bear in mind, you can't create nested folders on the current version of Notes on iOS or iPadOS. However, any nested folders you do create on the Mac version will be synchronized across to the iOS version. Let's go ahead and create another folder. You can also say Shift Command N for a new folder. And again, I'll just drag that to be a subfolder of Screencasts Online. So let me go ahead and create two new folders. I'll create a home related and work related folder. And I'll also populate these folders with some content from my existing notes. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.